All right, this definitely ain't the road to Delacro. Look at this. Passing about the 10 millionth windmill farm, en route to Port Mansfield, Texas, down almost to Mexico. Been driving for a couple days, spent the night overnight with some family in Houston, and now I'm almost to Port Mansfield. I'm meeting Chris Bush. If you remember, I fished with Chris last September down in the Corpus Christi area. Chris is a fellow speckled trout fanatic who comes down to this Port Mansfield area to target really big trophy trout. He invited me last September to come in December. That's when he feels like the fishing is best for these big fish. So this is the culmination of that invitation. And actually, Chris fished down here yesterday and caught a giant. He sent me a picture. I don't know how big the fish was, but it was a really, really big trout. So we're gonna be fishing for two days. It's Sunday today. We'll be fishing Monday and Tuesday. Fishing with a guide friend of his, who I don't even really know. I've spoken to him on the phone once, but I'll get to meet him hopefully sometime tomorrow. Just been looking forward to this for months. And man, I'm just so excited to be down here. Biggest trout of my life is eight pounds, eight ounces. Caught that on Calcasieu Lake more than 20 years ago, but I've never caught a 30 incher. That fish was only 27 inches, super fat fish. The goal of this trip is to catch a 30. Even if that doesn't happen, I'll be thrilled just to catch a five or six pound trout. As you know, those have become exceedingly rare in South Louisiana. So I'm really eager to fish down here, experience what these guys get to experience, and hopefully run across some big speckled trout. All right, looks like this is home for the next couple of nights. I think Chris is already here. The home sweet home, huh? Yeah, buddy. How's it going, man? I'm good. So good. Oh yeah. You've been uh, you've been here the last couple of nights or what? Uh, yeah, last night was mom. Oh, last night was your first night. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Joe? What's up, buddy? How's it going, man? Nice to finally meet you, Nice man. to meet you, man. Hey. How are the you? The man, dude. I freaking watch this guy on Do YouTube. Do you really? Yes, awesome, bro. Man. Thank I watch you. you on YouTube. I'm telling you. I'm looking forward to fishing with you. Like, before I even talk to you, I've been watching you. I like your pool videos. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I like them, too. I always get interested <laughs> I in I learn a lot in those. Yeah. All right, Todd, your time, baby. I want to see some big shit. All right, we go. All right, maybe you can see sun's kind of starting to brighten the horizon here. Joe and Chris are fanning out on this big flat. Absolutely gorgeous day, super flat calm. Supposed to blow, pick up a little bit later out the south, but they say conditions are rarely this good here. We're on the quest for a monster. Got him, Joe? All right, first fish of the morning. What's he about 15, 16 inches? Oh, right away, I just got hit. There's a school of fish here for sure. Oh, there's one. First fish. South Texas, this is a snag mullet. Definitely got some bait around. You know that guy could definitely get eaten by a very large speckled trout. Oh, there's one. Oh, that's a good fish. That might be a red or a big trout, who knows. I'm thinking redfish. I don't know, man. Might be a trout. I'm thinking red. 
I'm thinking red. Yep, redfish. So Joe said there are a lot of reds on this flat. That's a perfect, perfect eater. <sighs> All right, we don't want this guy, huh? Okay. Beautiful fish. Look at this fish Chris has. Chris Bush doesn't get excited about fish like this. Dude, that's a beautiful fish. Look how spotted. Boy, it just looked different than Louisiana fish. <laughs> good fish, Chris. It's not that good. Yeah. Here, let me get a pig. You tied on a corky, Joe? I'm coming to pot lick. Ooh. Ooh. All right, Joe's hooked up. No, oh, there you go. Chris is hooked up. Bait size for him. Oh, all right, that was a definite speckled trout hit. Changed my cadence a little bit. Is he nice, Chris? Chris says he's nice. Never mind, it's a red. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely the inexperienced wade fishing guy. I left the damn belt at the boat, which has my cutters and everything in it. Look at that scene. Look at that. Beautiful. I gotta figure out this cadence. Oops. Joe's hooked up again. He's got a big one. Oh, get him, Chris. Man, I wanna get in on the fun. What? Oh no, he broke off. Ooh, there he is. That one got me on the pause, but he is not big. Come to Texas, catch a Louisiana trout. Joe just lost a really big one. might be big but he's not I mean he's definitely bigger than the last but this is just incredible I mean this is incredible knee deep 45 degree air temps catching speckled trout while in the water with him I mean it's not a bad fish definitely not a bad fish it's because it's a red fish all right, I'm done. I'm going to get my pliers. I can't take this. Aggravating. You will not regret it. Yeah. Right in the snout. Yeah. Sorry, dude. All right. Thank Biggest you, thing, most important, as most people know. That right Don't there, assume I do. No bueno. You want to straighten it out. Straighten it out. To the point where you can see it. Okay. It's pretty much flat now in that belly. Yep. Sorry. You see, so, so kind of want to just reds are notorious for that now even though it's bent down in the bottom like that it's okay just kind of shift okay. it the yeah, main right. key though to this whole deal fishing the corky that rascal got to be straight. nice and straight yeah if not it'll yeah spin. okay makes sense so i'm definitely a fish out of water here <laughs> no pun intended i'm getting probably 10 percent of the bites that these guys are getting I'm trying to mimic their cadence but it's just not delivering the strikes. Got to figure something out.
There he is. All right. I think I was working my bait too slow. Yeah, I figured out my my cadence was too slow. Like just watching you, you're going substantially faster than I am. And I, I switched up and got a bite almost immediately. All right, so I just walked back to the boat. I forgot my waiting belt, being the rookie I am. And you can tell I'm a rookie because I've got duck hunting camo waders. Everybody else has proper fishing waders. We had a pretty good bite this morning on corkies and that kind of petered out. So now we're throwing soft plastics. This is a bass assassin bait that Chris gave me on an eighth ounce death grip jig head. He said he caught a bunch on this just two days ago. Joe's hooked up, looks like a red. It could be a big trout. That would be awesome if that's a trout. Based on his demeanor, I think it's a red. Look how fat that red is. Yeah, he's beautiful. Look at that belly. Looks like me at Thanksgiving. You got an airboat running, so annoying. Yep, he's coming back. He just came through a minute ago. Might be a trout. Might, might be a trout. I'm thinking red. It's a trout. Oh yeah, it is a trout. Beautiful trout. That's a good one. Just under four. Under four. Can you take a picture? Um, sure. Yeah. All right, there it goes. Man, that's a start. Yeah, no doubt. It's a good trout. Real good trout. He's coming up like a trout, but I thought he was a red. Oh, there he is. Not as big as the last. I mean, not a bad fish at all. I'd be thrilled to catch this in Louisiana. <laughs> all right, and they're hitting it deep too. Good sign. About a 16 inch fish, beautiful, super fat, wide in the back. Looks like a Louisiana fish. What's the size minimum here now? Is it 15? Yeah. Oh, I love it. Love it. I can't believe how calm it is. Like, I, you know, this place is legendarily windy. <laughs> yeah, I just love the fact that literally on any cast, you know, it could be an eight, nine, 10 pound trout, which is just not even possible at home. Oh, there we go. That might be something nice. Might be something nice. Might be a red though. They're already swimming right at me. Oh, redfish, little red. Blue tail, super blue tail. Look at that. Matches my sleeve. All right, time check is 9.02. We met Joe at six, so we're three hours in. Caught a whole lot of fish. Absolutely gorgeous conditions. Now, actually, they prefer it to be a little bit windy. Joe is kind of cursing these calm conditions. He feels like it's gonna pick up later this afternoon once the wind picks up. Ruffles the surface a little bit. We should also have warming temps today. So let's get up to 68. Got really cold last night, 45. We had a front come through yesterday. Blew hard out of the northwest, but obviously not blowing today. And this afternoon is supposed to be southeast, southeast again tomorrow. But there's tons and tons of biomass on this flat. This flat just extends as far as you can see. All kind of people waiting it, as you can tell. Standard operating procedure for Joe is to walk with the wind. It, oh, there's a fish. That might be a red. But he walks with the wind and lets the boat chase him. Man, I hope there's a trout. 
It's a trout. It's a nice one. He doesn't come up yet, though. I'm betting redfish. He absolutely tagged it. You never know. Those big trout often fight like redfish. I'm thinking red, though. <laughs> And that really is the cool thing about fishing here. You know on any cast, it could be a big trout. Literally any cast. Now, I've already caught a four pounder today. They yawn at a four pounder, but it's pretty exciting for me. I haven't seen this fish yet, but I bet my boat it's a redfish. Yep, redfish. Now I've seen him, confirmed. This red won't give up. Look how fat, look how fat that fish is. Yeah. That's crazy. What's he got in his belly? Got to be a mullet. Probably a big mullet. Todd's got a big red fish on. Check out this Look fish. at the belly on that fish. That's a, that's a chunky fish, man. Yeah, look how healthy this fish is. Yeah, no <laughs> doubt. No doubt. This red is going crazy. He will not give up. Dude, I'm going to let you go. You're going to swim again. All right, go ahead. Just wear yourself out. I'll wait till you go belly up. How about that? All right, big red. Big, beautiful red. All right. Man, that fish is fat. Go ahead, boy. There you go. Swam off. But the number of fish on this flat is just incredible. So much bait. See all kinds of boils coming up. Could be trout, could be reds. Who knows? So Texas legend Mike McBride is with us. He's right there. He switched to a topwater bait and has gotten three big blow-ups on it. No connections yet, but I've got some in my bag. So if he connects, it looks like he just got another blow-up. If he connects, I will switch. So I think I mentioned earlier that this was a bass assassin bait, but it's actually a little John, according to Chris. The color is golden brim. Is it big? Beautiful fish. Yeah, we've been throwing, we've been throwing soft dimes all morning. And uh, we switched to plastics, got a little deeper, started shallow, had some good fish on, broke off on a nice fish. Walked Look at that. Walked a little deeper, caught one, just about a five pounder or so. That's a beautiful fish. Let me get a still shot of you. All right. That's a good fish. <laughs> oh, there's one. Uh, decent trout. Surfer. Texas baby. <laughs> oh, threw in his mouth. That could be a big trout, but I think it's a red. I think it's a red. He barely knows he's hooked. <laughs> go ahead, boy. Go ahead. I think it's another red. Oh, too much fun, man. Too much fun, man. <laughs> what are the poor people doing today? Rubber lips. Come on, rubber lips. No, come on this way. I don't feel like turning. Another red. There he is. That's a trout. That's a decent trout for sure. I saw him jump. He's not a four or anything, but good fish. Texas schoolie. Look how deep. He definitely wanted it.
right, midday update. You can see the seven guys fishing behind me. Wade fishing, absolutely perfect conditions here, at least from my perspective. Never thought my first time in Laguna Madre would be this calm. This place is legendarily windy, but look at this. It could not be calmer. Actually, we'd probably do a little bit better if it got a little bit windier ruffle that surface make the fish a whole lot less spooky and that should happen by this afternoon the major here is at 11 o'clock and these guys put a ton of stock into the major right now it is uh just a little bit after 10 so about to be happening here i think kind of really mixed bag of reds and trout and mixed bag on the size of trout everything from little throwbacks to really really nice fish i caught one almost four chris caught one over five joe caught at least one over five maybe two and he had a seven hooked up that broke him off. Just an absolutely gargantuan fish, or at least for me. <laughs> I fish South Louisiana, so a seven's a gargantuan fish. Everybody says this afternoon's gonna be better than this morning. I can't believe that because the fishing's been really almost nonstop, just fantastic. I think I'm gonna throw a top water starting now. I'd like it that the surface would ripple a little bit, obviously, but I think that gives me the best shot of catching a big fish on that major. All right, changed my mind. I'm going with this Magnum mullet. I'm not gonna try top water with this calm. <laughs> Maybe that wind will start blowing and I'll change. I do have one in my tackle box. Oh, there he is. Oh, shoot. Pull the hooks. Pretty sure it was a trout, too. There's one, and that's a red. I lost the trout and get the red. Different context, I would eat this guy. Man, you're getting water over my camera. It's incredible. <laughs> I never dreamed my first trip to this area would be this flat calm. not come up made a switch to a ghost minnow second cast connected gotta be a small red gotta be no big trout <laughs> big trout yeah he's about a three Yeah, I mean, these big trout will definitely fool you. You can convince you got a red, then it's a trout. Yeah, I know, I know dude. Wish I had a boga. <laughs> what you think? Four? He might be a four. Four pounder. Took it down deep. He took it pretty good. I switched to a ghost minnow. First cast, or second cast, I think. Beautiful fish. All right. Yeah, it is. And that fish came on a ghost minnow. It's a bait made by Captain Lane Zimmer, the same guy who makes death grip jig heads. I got that on a 1 8 ounce death grip. But last year when I fished with Chris, he taught me to rig them upside down. Basically push the hook through the belly. And he feels like it falls better with that flat side down. Second cast, I caught that beautiful trout, so. Let's stick with this for a minute. All right, Joe, how did this morning go compared to a typical December morning here in, in this area? So we, we just had a cold front yesterday and we had like 35, 40 mile an hour north winds. Our water level had been up. So uh, today we had cooler temperatures and pretty much basically no wind. And our water level fell about, I'd say what, a foot and a half, two feet, or maybe, a, yeah, yeah. Maybe a foot, at least a foot, no, because we were able to go way in there. 
uh, two days ago before the front. And we just, we came in here, fish, we're fishing a ledge, not a ledge, it's, it's a gradual, in, you know, taper. taper in the water column. It gets deeper as we go north. And all these fish, we're fishing here in like some slough area, it's a slough. And all that bait and stuff dumped out with that cold front, that north wind pushed all the water out of our bay. But a typical, a typical December day, it's an average day. The water fell off. We, you know, we're catching a lot of good fish on plastics. How do you predict this afternoon's going to go? Like, what, what are these fish right going to do? we're going to have a lull in okay. our right. It's going to be a little slower because we already walked this line. But I don't see any reason why we should leave because of the volume of fish that are here. There's a, there's a ton of volume here in this little area. And we may, I think we walk through them too fast. But... You know, we get excited, we're catching fish, you know, you, you want to see what's 10 feet in front of you, you know, rather than just stay there. I, and, and, you know, I seen Mike today, he was kind of hanging back, fishing slower and slower. And I think maybe if we would have all done that, we probably would have walked in through these fish slower, caught more fish. But we had Danny, you know, to the right of us, so we, you know, we're trying to keep up with him. You never want a boat in front of you in the shallow water. Okay. You want to be side by side. Sure. Okay. Because if they're walking in front of you, they make your water dead because those fish, they feel... They feel the people walking and talking and banging their rods on the water, banging their lures on the water. And the fish are sensitive, especially when you're fishing in knee deep to thigh deep water. All right, Chris is hooked up with what he says is about a six pound trout. If Chris says he's a six, it's probably a seven. All right, he's got him. That's a caught fish. Oh, that's a big fish. How big is he? What's he weigh? About six, it's six pounds. All right, Chris got... Fish of the day so far, six pounds. Look at this fish, beautiful. What a trout. What's that trout measure, what would you guess? Let's take a look. That is a beast. Just south of that, okay. that guide. So if I had to guess, maybe about 27 and a half, maybe. What, e what exact bait is that? So this is a little softine. Not the softine XL. Joe and I the other day, we fished uh, prefrontal and Instead of the softine XL, which is what we started with, we downsized later in the day this little softine. So it's really the size of like a Miradine, a 17 MR, a uh, little two and three quarter inch bait. Obviously dead calm conditions, right? And so it can be pretty tough. I mean, obviously we're fishing in knee deep stuff. And, and so anytime you can kind of lessen your presence in the water and in the profile and kind of work that, those fish will respond, right? We're coming into a major. We know, we feel that, you know, those fish are gonna now uh, start to feed and so just give them something to kind of match the conditions a little bit like less audible presence and that's been the key man downsizing has been the key lately and i mean don't think just because it's a two and three quarter inch fish that it can't catch hammers that's, that's a hammer that's just that's a six pounder on the bogey here too love it man love it look at that look at that fat yep looks like a louisiana fish yeah big old, thickness wise yeah okay, let's get a good one all right, healthy as could be. Dude, congrats. Thanks, I know it's nothing for you. I know it's nothing for you, <laughs> but I think it's awesome. Oh, it's something. <laughs> that's why we're out here, man. Yep. That's why we drive down here. That's yep, why that's exactly why. Take a million casts. About five or six casts before that. Did you? Yeah. Well, dude, you, you predicted that would be the bait. Is that the one you pulled out my box? Sure yeah. is. I'll give it back. Yeah, it was my bait. <laughs> no, man, no way. Yeah. Uh, I like. Oh, there he is. It's a trout. It's not a six, but it is a trout. That's oh, a red. It's a red. Yep. Got it. I love this bait, man. I really love this bait. Dude, believe me, I don't do this a whole lot. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't weighed fished a ton at all in my career. Maybe 20 times, I guess, in my entire career. It is awesome just being in the water with the fish. Like, there's just nothing like it. On their terms, on their turf. Redfish? Trout. That's a yawner for Chris Bush. They're all nice. 
Oh, I love them. Some are just nicer than others. Right? Like women. Yep. <laughs> Except for the fact that not all of them are nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, heck no. No, indeed. No, you didn't cut it off, did you? No, I was. I had to retie anyway. But no, 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 no. You no, fish no. it. No, come on, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Softy and tell the same color. All right, Chris is giving me the hot bait, so let's see. <laughs> let's see if it's as hot for me as it is for him. They want a more pronounced pause. Okay. Is what I'm kind of seeing take shape right now. All right, so here we go. Chris is giving me the magic bait. Ooh, yep, swirled on. That's a trout? <laughs> All right. That's a big trout. If that's a trout, that's a big trout. And I believe... That was a trout too, bro. Oh, shit. Pull the hooks. So when Chris says he has a big trout, it's a big trout. No telling how big that one was. He was a monster. See if I hooked that fish and lost him, I'd be I'd be upset for two days. <laughs> Miradine. Redfish. Redfish love my cadence. All right, dude. Thanks for the fight. Tell your spotted friends to, your speckled friends to bite. That's a gorilla. That is a gorilla. That might be the fish of the day. <laughs> Look at this trout. Look at this trout. Good lord. That's a tank. You gotta get me in here. I got you. I got you back there. That's a gorilla. That's a gorilla. That is a, that's the fish of that. That's a tank. Look at this fish. Look at this fish. Just incredible. Good lord. Caught fish. Good job, Chris. Beautiful, man. Yeah, it's seven. Holy let me, Toledo. Let me, get, let me get the sun the right way. What is it? I don't want to shoot the background. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Seven in touch. Seven give, and give change. It's amazing how these big trout turn on with the major. It's amazing. It's amazing. Well, they're, 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 not, they're vulnerable now. But, I mean, they're choking. They're choking the moons down pretty good. They're choking whatever Chris is throwing. <laughs> Nice. Mick Trout, I love, love you, man. Chris is driving me nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Joe. You did your job today. Dude, he choked it, too. Yes, sir. Come here, come on. I might, uh, Damn good, Chris. I might put my bait in his mouth and fight him for a minute. I love that I love that <laughs> bait right there. All right. All right, let's see how long this fish is. Let's see. Yeah, maybe right Chris? at 28, 27, 27. Oh, shit. Well, you got him. You, you, don't, you don't have him on oh, there. There you go. So pinch tail 28 or 27 yeah, and a half. Three quarter, yeah. Yeah. That's part of it. That thing gets you excited. You got to stop fishing. You need to do something different. You got to do something different. Dude, congrats, man. <laughs> Not the right one. Big trout, big trout. That one? Yeah. Don't you dare. Swimming at me. Well, I 
get a video of this. I'm kind of busy. Yeah, you're busy. Oh, don't be a red. Don't turn into a red. I think it's a red. Redfish. Shoot. You want it? This would be a really good trout. <laughs> if it was a trout. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Oh man, I thought that was a trout. Hey, you're getting bit. Yeah, yeah. No, it's gorgeous, man. What a day. What a day. December, December is such a great month if you can pick your days. Chris is hooked up already. Trout? Oh goodness. This is maddening. Oh, he's in the stringer. Now he's out the stringer. That's a gorilla. You think it's bigger than the last one? Body wise, it looks like. Dude, you. This is wrong. Look at this fish. That's a tank, dude. That is a tank. Caught fish. Oh, <laughs> okay. that, that's definitely a fatter fish. Isn't it? I don't think he's as long. But I think he's a tall fish, man. I, I think he's fat. No, dude, that's not what it is. You, you would whack him on this one. It's a fish, but it's not the fish. And Chris has an eight-pounder. I don't know. We'll see. Probably a red, if I had to guess. No, it's a trout. I think it's a trout. Yeah, it's a trout. It's not that big. It's a good one, but not a Chris Bush one. All right, big boy. About a maybe 20 incher. Beautiful fish. Off you go. Oh, come on, be a big one. Be a big one. Oh, <laughs> of course I did. It was a good one. Okay. Okay. I'm probably not letting it sit enough. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Snake bit, man. Yeah, it's a red. No, it's, I'm, I'm determined, dude, believe me. All this does is make me super determined. Yeah, I don't think I was pausing enough. Anybody at the port sell a boga? It's like essential gear, isn't it? Chris, you want him or no? Go ahead, dude, swim off. Come on. There you go. All right. That might be a trout. 
That might be a trout. I don't think it's a red. Now I think it's a red. It's a red. Oh, I thought he spit it. He's just running at me. Couldn't get that lucky. Got that boga? You want him? Bend her up. Yep. Let's see how good you are tuning cord. Well, you know, I got a lot, a lot of experience with it, so. Been doing it for about an hour. Feeling redfish. Feeling redfish. It's a red. I mean, I wouldn't bet my life, but it feels like one. Redfish. It's about a, I don't know, 25, 26, I guess. My kingdom for a boga. All right, I'm back home and it's a rainy, nasty Saturday. But man, I tell you, I have not stopped thinking about that trip to Texas. Truly one of the greatest fishing experiences of my life. Now the part you've just seen is from day one and I didn't even catch a big fish. They were all around me. Everybody around me was catching them. I just couldn't. I caught a couple that were pushing four pounds but didn't get a big one. That all changes, however, on day two when I caught the biggest trout that I've caught since that one I talked about on Calcasieu Lake more than 20 years ago. Just an amazing fishery in Lower Texas. I cannot get over it and I cannot wait to go back. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the Marshman Masson channel on YouTube. You can do that by clicking that button right there. Also, here's two videos YouTube thinks you'll like. Check those out when you get a chance. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Masson. Don't forget about part two coming up very soon.